green tea has long been cultivated in the city of Kikugawa, Shizuoka Prefecture, ideally blessed with long, mild days of sunshine. Also cultivated here are the tea leaves which constitute the raw material for matcha. Let's find out how matcha is produced. The tea plants begin to bud at the beginning of April. To protect the buds from the sun, black and white nets that block out more than 90% of the sunlight are placed over the tea plants. Blocking the sunlight in this way suppresses catechins, the component that gives green tea its astringent taste and increases amino acids, the components which enhance its flavor. In addition, where the tea plants are usually covered 20 days prior to harvest, our company called the Ryutsu Service covers the tea plants 30 days prior to harvest, leading to the growth of more flavorful tea leaves. Then in mid-May, when the surface of the leaves becomes a deep green color, the time for harvesting has arrived and the leaves are carefully picked. At our company, we use no agricultural chemicals, so you can be assured of safely experiencing the natural flavor of matcha. The harvested tea leaves are then transported to a factory, where they begin the manufacturing process for what is called tencha, the material for matcha. First, the fresh leaves are placed in a steamer and steamed to stop the oxidizing enzyme activity. Because the color and aroma of steamed leaves left at high temperatures degrade, the leaves are blown into the air with a refrigerated leaf spreader, scattered so that they do not lie on top of each other and are kept cool. Next, the leaves are transported to be dried in a 30 meter long drying furnace made of brick. Here the leaves are slowly and carefully dried by the high temperature radiating from the heated bricks, further enhancing the aroma of the leaves. After the tea leaves have been dried in this way, the extra pieces of stalk are removed by a separator and the resulting leaves are known as tencha aracha. Next, a cutting machine works out the size of the leaves and after a separator is used to remove the extra leaf veins, the leaves now become the finished tencha, the raw material used for matcha. The finished tencha is stored in refrigeration at 5 degrees in order to mature the leaves. Then, after storing the leaves until early autumn, they are ground with a millstone and become matcha. This is called the shincha, the newly picked green tea of matcha. Because the millstone rotates at low speed, only 40 grams of leaves can be processed in one hour. However, the finished matcha, at a uniform size of approximately 5 micrometers, with its velvety taste and feel to the tongue, is of the finest quality whose taste and aroma you can truly enjoy. Also, the color or astringent taste of matcha depends greatly on the difference between the kind of tea leaf. The teas our company produces are Samidori, Okumidori, and Goko. And when compared to Yabukita, the tea with the highest volume produced in Japan, we see the following data. Chlorophyll content. Amino acids. The components providing flavor. Catechins the components providing astringency. Regardless of what numbers you look at, the difference is clear. 
The different colors, flavors, and aromas are born because of the uniformity of the production, from the cultivation of the raw material tea leaves to the millstone grinding process. Next, how to prepare a delicious cup of matcha tea. First, pour boiling water into the teacup, stir with a chasen whisk, heating the teacup and whisk. Pour the water out from the teacup and wipe with a dishcloth. Place two heaping tea scoops, approximately two grams of powdered matcha into the teacup. This is equivalent to about one teaspoon. Prepare 70 milliliters of 80 to 90 degree hot water and pour it into the cup. Stir with a chasen until the lumps of tea are dissolved. Begin stirring by moving your wrist forwards and backwards in short, quick motions. Then finish by slowing down so that the surface of the tea becomes smooth. At the farm our company runs, we carefully grow tea leaves without using any agricultural chemicals. Our factory then diligently controls temperature and humidity to create the finished tencha. Then we slowly grind the tea leaves with millstones creating top quality matcha. Our company the Ryutsu service refuses to compromise on the production process so that we can make matcha that you can truly enjoy.